All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to do a very basic trading view tutorial for 2021. This will be a bit of a different video from the you know normal technical analysis videos I do, but I have been getting a lot of requests of what charting program I use and that I should make some more, you know, pure educational content. So in this video, we will take a look at how to use trading view for beginners. And this will be part one. And in this one, we will basically just take a look at how do we set up trading view and take a look at some very basic tools, how to open up a chart and, you know, take a look at the layout. And yeah, basically just some basic steps to getting started here with TradingView. And a few quick things before we start right here. The first one is that I'm going to try to explain things as clear as possible during this video. Uh, I'd rather, you know, be too slow than too fast. So if you guys want to speed me up, there is a option on YouTube. So if you think I'm slow, please make sure to speed up the video. Another thing, if you appreciate and like these uh, kind of videos, please let me know you do that by, you know, liking this video. It really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, also, if you during the video have any kind of question or any suggestion on what you want me to, you know, do an educational video on next, then please uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what that is. I will really try to, you know, answer to every comment and all the good stuff. But all right, so now let's jump right into the video. And the first thing we want to do when we, you know, get into TradingView is that we want to sign up. And to sign up is pretty much a must because if you, the reason that you need to sign up is that if you use TradingView without an account, you will get this pop-up window right here all the time. But the good news here is that TradingView is totally free to use. So that is no problem at all. This leads us to the first step of getting started on TradingView, and that is to you know create an account and sign up. And for this step, I have actually managed to get a link for this. So if you go to my video and take a look at the description, you will see that I have a TradingView sign up link right here. And if you guys use that link, you can get up to a $30 bonus. And at the same time, you support the channel because if you later on decide to upgrade to a premium version or anything like that, then you know, I will get a small commission from that. If you don't want to use that link, you can of course just go to tradingview.com uh, and sign up there. But all right, so let's click this link right here to get to the sign up page. You got referred to TradingView because someone thought you'd benefit from a ton of financial analysis features, uh, da, 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 da. And then you click explore plans right here. So TradingView has many different plans. We have everything from a basic and totally free uh, plan. And the free plan, I have to say, is very strong and very good. You can do a lot of things on TradingView for free. But you can also purchase a Pro, Pro Plus, or even a premium plan. But when you are starting out, the basic plan is totally good enough, in my opinion. You can take your time to read what's uh, different for the different plans. You know, one thing I like about the Pro plan is that you get zero ads. And you can also use multiple indicators on the same chart. And you can have many charts uh, in one window and so on and so on. But let's say we use the basic version here, the free version, we just click start now. And then you come to the sign up window. And here you can sign up using Google, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter and more. I think most of you guys have a Google account. So that is a very easy way, way to sign up. So you sign up here uh, using Google, it says log in right here, log in in Swedish. Uh, so so that is a you know very quick and easy process to sign up. Okay, so let's say you are signed in on your account. I'm not gonna be signed in right now because I want to look at TradingView uh, the way that you see it when you are totally new. So when you uh, are at the TradingView start screen, it should look something like this. First of all, here at the top of TradingView, you have some financial assets. You can see we have, for example, oil right here. We have the British pound. Uh, right here, you can find gold and uh, Bitcoin. So you have some sort of overuse at the top. You got a nice little market summary box right here, which you can see some uh, 
big indices such as the S&P 500, Nasdaq, the Dow Jones and more so you can get a general overview how the market is going. And right here you have some you know technical analysis and similar stuff of other creators that you can take a look at but that is probably not uh, why you are here right now uh, the reason why you are here is probably because you want to do a technical analysis by yourself and that is what we are going to take a look at how we do it right now so we won't be able to explore everything in this video so right now we are going to take a look at how do we open up a chart so how do we open up a chart in trading view let's say we want to open up bitcoin and take a look at bitcoin what you do is that you have a search bar on the top you can see right here and you basically type out Bitcoin. To type Bitcoin is one way to do it and you can definitely find what you are looking for. But one even better way is to type the ticker symbol for Bitcoin and that is to type BTC. You will pretty much always find what you are looking for faster when you type the ticker symbol. So let's say I wanna look at BTC uh, measured in US dollar. Then I type BTC USD and then we get some alternatives right here. And the reason we have so many BTC USD alternatives is that we have many exchanges where Bitcoin is traded on. And for example, Coinbase is a very uh, big exchange. So you can click the second alternative right here is BTC Bitcoin measured in US dollars on Coinbase. So we click right there and then we pop up a new window. So what is this window? Well, here you get a sort of nice overview. You can see right here we have the Bitcoin price, quite a bearish movement today, minus 3% so far. But uh, yeah, this can look a bit overwhelming. And you can also see that on this window we have what, you can see what price we have for Bitcoin on multiple different exchanges. You can see here on Coinbase, we have another exchange that is called Bitstamp. Bitfinex, it's traded at around the same level on all exchanges, but it can differ a few dollars here and there. But what we wanna do here is that we wanna get to the technical analysis and charting window. And to do that, we wanna click on the full featured chart button. So let's do that. Let's click on the full featured chart. And then we will get a window that looks like this. And the very first thing you wanna do, or that pretty much all the traders do when they're doing technical analysis is that we don't want a chart that looks like a line. We want to look at candlesticks because a candlestick chart can provide so much more information than if we just have a line. So the first thing you usually want to do is that you want to take a look at candlesticks instead of a line. And to do that, you go up here to the top. You can see where it says BTC to USD. You go left a bit here and you can see that you have a button that is called line. When you click this one, you have, you know, many different types of showing the chart. And the most widely used one is the candlestick chart. Uh, so if we want to, we can even click a star here because this is our favorite. Candlesticks is the way to go for almost everyone. And we click on this candle button. So there we go. Now we have candles and they can provide much more information than a than a normal line. As you can see now, because I'm not logged in, I will get these windows all the time, which is pretty annoying. Uh, but let me just cross that one. But okay, so what is the first thing I wanna do here? Well, the thing that can be a bit annoying in the beginning is that you, when you scroll the chart, you, you can see that it will zoom in and zoom out automatically. And pretty much most of the times, or pretty much always, I don't like this. I want to be able to scroll in the chart however I please. And to take away this option, this auto zoom option, you look down to the corner right here and you can see that it says auto. If you click this auto button, then this will stop. So now if you just click on the chart, you can hold and drag. You can see that you are you can drag the chart however you want and it won't auto zoom. The second thing I wanna do here to make the chart look a bit more clean is to go up here to the corner and you can see it says vol, it stands for volume and, and this volume is an indicator that shows how much uh, volume that is traded for this asset. So you can see the sort of bars, you can see the red and green bars right here under the chart that is the volume bars and shows and shows how much of the asset that is traded. So 
to make the chart look a bit better i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna go down and disable this volume and to do that you just hover over this button and click hide right there so right there the volume bars disappeared and now we have a nice and clean chart you now know how to you know move around on the chart and the next thing i'm going to look at is how do we scale the chart so how do we zoom in and zoom out to get the scale we like and one way to do this is if you want to scale it from vertically what you do is that you take your mouse here to the sidebar you hold the mouse button and then you can simply drag up and down to scale the chart on the vertical axis like this so you, for example, it's very hard to look at a chart when it's scaled like this. So you wanna have it in a nice scale. You can do the same thing for the horizontal. You take the, you take the horizontal axis, you hold, and then you can drag and scale it on, on this horizontal axis as well. So there you have some basics on how to scale the chart. The next thing I wanna look at here is the time frame of every candlestick. So right now, another way you can scroll horizontally is to use your you know, scroll button on your mouse. So you can just scroll like this using your mouse. Right now, every candlestick on this chart represents one day. And if you wanna change the time frame, how do we do this? Well, we go up to the corner. And you can see where it says a D right here. D, it says one day, and if you click this one, you can choose uh, whatever time frame you want. And a very common time frame is the four hour chart. So if we click here on the four hour, now every candle represents four hours instead of one day. If we wanna look at, if we wanna zoom in and have an even shorter time frame, we can click right again and go to the one hour. So right here, every candlestick is one hour. And if we want to, we can click this one again and go to one month. So here, every candlestick is one month instead. So that is how to get tif different time frames on the chart. One more thing I wanna do in this video is to show how you can customize your chart. So if you click anywhere on the chart and you right click, you can go down and click on settings. So here on the settings tab, you can change the look of trading view pretty much to however you like it. So for example, the body of the candle is the sort of wide part of the candle. And if you for some reason want to have uh, the green candles to become purple, you can do that. So let's say you want purple candles. You can see now the candles became purple. Let's say you want to change the wicks to orange. Well, then you go right here, click orange. And you can see that now the sort of upper line of the candle is orange right there. But that's very ugly, so we're not going to use that. And one thing I personally like to do is that the white light here, uh, the whiteness of the background is pretty bright for my eyes. So I usually have my charts in a dark mode. And one easy way to switch to a more dark chart is to right click. You go down to where it says color theme, and then you basically click dark so here you get you know a dark appearance much more kind for the eyes in my opinion and what i also personally do is that i go to settings we go down to appearance right here and i like to have my background totally black so i go to the background and click black right here so now we have a totally black background and i usually don't even use the lines you can see that we have some sort of boxes right here in the background. To get rid of them, if you want to, you can go here to where it says vert grid lines and horse grid lines. This is the lines that goes up and down. If you wanna get rid of them, you basically click right there and, and take down the opacity to zero. So zero opacity, zero opacity. And I also, also usually not have a gradient, I have solid right there. So solid black. That looks something like this. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you found any kind of help or value, and if you want me to make more similar content such as this one, then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have a great, great day, and I hope I will catch you in the next video. And here this box come again, so make sure you, you know, sign up. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care. Ciao, ciao.